Hello there again. Our topic at this time is the Lord reveals our heart through our words. Welcome to my home. And we're going to talk about different things for confirmation, encouragement, enlightenment, and enjoyment. So come along, a theological journey of enlightenment, growth, and enjoyment. Let's have fun. If this message blesses you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, let's get into this and talk about how our hearts reveal through our words. Our foundational scripture is Proverbs 18, verse 21, which says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. The words we speak have power. So, we have to decide whether to speak positive or negative. Let us take a look at Proverbs 16, verse 27. It says, An ungodly man digs up evil, and it is on his lips like a burning fire. What is being said here is that this is a worthless person who finds ways to hurt others. His or her speech is like intense heat or searing heat. Let's put this another way. This person searches for information that is bad to publicly destroy a prominent individual or business. Proverbs 16, 28 says, A perverse man sows strife, and a whisperer, which is a gossiper, separates the best of friends. Here we see this person starts fights between friends, disagreements between friends. How, you ask? I'm so glad you did. This person deals in falsehoods, plants seed of discord, and is a slanderer who causes division among friends. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 20, 33 through 37, again, in Matthew 12, verses 33 through 37, Jesus is speaking, and I'll discuss this scripture, and in your spare time, why not take a few minutes and read it for yourself? Again, that's Matthew chapter 12, verses 33 through 37. Jesus uses analogy of trees and their fruit being good or bad in relating to detecting the identity of a good or bad man. You see, what we produce or say indicates who we really are. Jesus also uses poisonous snakes to demonstrate that a heart full and overflowing with evil is unable to speak good things because of the condition of the heart. He makes a contrast between two kinds of men. A good man with a good heart produces good things. An evil man with evil treasure produces evil things. The good man being a godly man will be fruitful in the knowledge of Jesus. He will be diligent, virtuous, have self-control and persevere. The evil man is a gossiper and a busybody, speaking things he ought not speak. He will have to answer for every unprofitable and useless deed and word spoken in the day of judgment. Remember, what we say reveals the kind of heart we have and what's in it. The Holy Spirit will help us develop a better attitude and speech if we allow him to do so. Can the tongue be tamed? Good question. James chapter 3 verse 8 says, But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, hmm, full of deadly poison. The word says no man can tame the tongue. However, the Holy Spirit will give us power to watch and control what we say. Even the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. James chapter 3 verse 6 says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, 
and it is set on fire by hell. Here James is comparing the tongue with fire. We know that an out of control fire can do a whole lot of damage. The evil or wickedness of the tongue is like the misery of hell. The uncontrolled tongue can do a lot of damage, as I've said before. For instance, misrepresent, speak falsehoods, malice, divide us, and cause idle words to be spoken. So before we speak, we need to remember that angry, violent words are like hell fire that cannot be controlled nor reversed. We need to think about that. Proverbs 15 verse 4a says a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Here we see that a gentle tongue with healing, healthy words soothe and minister to our life and also gives life. This tongue also speaks truth. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 7b says a time to keep silence and a time to to speak. We should spend time in prayer. Then we will know when to speak and when not to speak. Remember, not everything God speaks to us is for everyone else. Think about it. There are some things that he shares with us that are strictly for us, for our benefit, and we need to keep it to ourselves. Now, once it comes to fruition, then you can share if someone says something, you say, oh, yeah, yeah, the Lord showed me this or that or whatever. But sometimes you need to keep things to yourself. OK, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, direct us through the power of your Holy Spirit. Sanctify our tongues that we speak words of comfort and truth with love. Let our words heal and give life to those whom you place before us for us to minister to. For it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Until next time, this has been a cup of tea and a word with Orsi. <laughs>